Okay, so here is the new UpCall dashboard. Here you can view all of your current campaigns, your drafts, and even create new campaigns. Here you can see progress, amount spent, and what goals you've achieved on each campaign. So let's go ahead and create a new one. If you click Create a Campaign, it'll take you to the type screen. Here you'll have to add a name for your campaign. I suggest something specific based on the campaign and the goals that you're running. I'm going to call mine UpCall Appointments. And what type of campaign would you like to create? We have a lot of options at UpCall. For sales, you can generate leads, increase product awareness, set appointments, or use inbound lead qualification. You also have the option to do things like mystery shopping, market surveys. There's a ton of possibilities. And you can always talk with us to figure out what sort of campaign would be right for you. For today, I'm going to create an appointment setting campaign. Now here, we figure out the goal of the campaign. This helps our upcallers understand the main idea of what you're trying to achieve. Now here I'm going to be brief, but it's good to be as specific as possible so that people understand what you need. For my purposes, I'm going to put get our sales reps in touch with leads. Now here, you can see all of the necessary elements of your campaign, from script and instructions, to contacts, to caller ID. In the advanced section, you'll see there's a budgeting option. We'll take a look at this later. Now if you take a look at scripted instructions, you'll be given the option to create an introduction. This is your chance to get your upcallers acquainted with your leads. I recommend something that is brief, cordial, but gets to the point right away. Now you can add questions for our upcallers to ask your leads and then fill out later for your reference. There are five different types of options for questions. Check boxes, radio select buttons, ratings, free text, and NPS. I'm going to ask some necessary questions for my purposes, like what is your monthly budget, and then give ranges for them to choose from. What are your major pain points with your current calling strategy? I'm going to make that a free text, so I can get as much detailed information as possible from my upcallers. Now for follow-up actions, you have the option to get a callback, an email, or set an appointment. In this case, I'm going to encourage my upcallers to set an appointment. Under additional instructions, you can add some extra advice, questions, or answers for our upcallers to reference when they're speaking with your leads. In this example, I'm going to encourage my upcallers to share this demo video with my lead if they are not interested in getting an appointment. This way you can increase touch points, increase engagement even with leads that aren't necessarily reaching the goal, and providing a good experience for our upcallers and your leads. You can choose whether or not you want our upcaller to leave a message. You can get higher engagement with voicemails. You can even instruct our callers in your script on a specific voicemail to leave, including specific numbers or links you would like people to check out. You can either upload your own list of contacts, as I am doing here, or you can source a list of leads from us. We accept Excel files and CSV files. I'm uploading a CSV of 51,000 contacts. Here, you have the option of mapping your fields. And I'm going to scrub the list for the do not call list. This will increase list quality and overall conversion rate on the campaign. If you want to upload specific leads from your CRM, we have an open API and we offer a Zapier integration. Zapier provides connections between Upcall and hundreds of apps. If you have any questions, you can always refer to our help desk for more API related information. Next, we'll go to the budget. You can choose to limit your budget. Here, you can choose either no limit, a max per month, or a max per day. Here, I can set a commission for a successful appointment. In this case, I'll do $5. Once you're all set, you can go to the caller ID. Here, you can verify your phone number. Here, you can verify your caller ID. After inputting the code, that will be the number that our upcallers call from. So if anybody tries to call back, they'll go to your office. So it's important to make sure it's a number of a sales rep or somebody who can route them in the right direction. If you want, you can also rent a caller ID from us. So you can rent a local number, for example, from the city where your leads are. So once you've verified your caller ID, you're ready to enter your payment information and accept upcallers to start working on your campaign.